So welcome back with Eclipse Motorcycles this morning, second ride test this morning. This one is for our customer Wayne. Um, it's just a quick ride test just to show him his motorcycle being ridden for the purposes of demonstration. So once again, quick look around the bike. Another grey LXR125. Water-cooled engine on this one. Uh, some previous videos. You know how these ride, you know what the dash is like. So we're going to take this one out, currently 1.5 miles, and I've left the side stand down. So what I do like about these, forget the side stands down, just cut the bike out. So we're going to take this one out, put some road mileage on it. So as with all of our uh, Lexmodo rides, and you're probably bored with the amount of bikes that are coming through now, but obviously every bike that we do has a ride test on it. And as usual, we're going to change the route up a little bit. Get that mileage on the bike and just show the customer what this bike does. Once again, coming in, I won't be way down the gearbox, I'm going to clutch in and just come in, coast the bike in on the front brake and then hard in to stop. Very effective, so just get myself back down through the gearbox, back down to first. So that's what we normally do, clutch in, no engine braking and just use that front brake to bring us down. And also the purposes of just bedding that front set of disc pads in. So pulling from the off, just work it through the gearbox. Pulling through very, very nicely. Cornering the bike nice and gently, because obviously we are on fresh rubber on this. And once again, on that front brake, second gear pull off. the gearbox up into fifth gear and once again looking down at dash nice steady 40 mile an hour for the customers purposes and obviously as we keep blagging on about uh, Taking your time on these bikes, 40 mile an hour please, for the first 500 kilometres, obviously they do go a lot faster, but for the purposes of ride test, 40, maximum about 43, so try and keep it around about that 40, that's for your first 500k, 311 miles, once you get the first service out of the way then you can open it up to 50, and then get that uh, second service out of the way at 9.32, 1500k and then you're good to go so just pushing it through the roundabout handles very very well as all the LXRs do It doesn't take long to crank some mileage up on one of these. So it's sitting a nice steady 43 now. And that's about the maximum. I'll go bring it back down to about 40, 41. It's obviously checking all the functions of the bike, making sure the levers are correct, clutch bite is correct. All my instrumentation is all running. And uh, obviously how that engine feels chugging away down between my legs what the seating position is like are the pegs in the correct place gear lever in the right place and we've already done all the light check on it this morning on the final QC
So we're going to get a few miles in on this and obviously edit the video down and do the final few miles as we come back in just to show the customer we've got the full 20 on this or as near to 20 as we can. And obviously we've had a few comments of like why do you do so many videos of the same bike? Every single bike that comes into Eclipse Motorcycles has a ride test. And for the purposes of that customer, they know that their bike is being ridden correctly. And that uh, we are obviously sticking to that running speed as well. A lot of dealers obviously do the PDIs, they do a ride test. Not many do the ride videos. This is just a little added extra that we do for the customers. To obviously just show them that uh, that bike is running effectively, the engine sounds correct. And that we're doing our job properly. As I said, a lot of dealers will just uh, prep a bike really, really quick. Bang some mileage on. Do you know that that uh, ride technician is doing the correct speed? Is he... Uh, staying to the running mileage or the running speeds that Lex Moto tell you to do or is he just blamming it down the local dual carriageway 60 mile an hour quick 15 minute test ride just to get the mileage on the bike and hammering your engine that is one of the things that we always say you know obviously check a dealer out 99.9% .9 of the dealers that uh, are Lex Moto licensed do a very very good job but you are going to get the odd one or two and that's this is personal opinion so I can't come in for other dealers but this is what we do so we tend to go a little bit over and above for the customer's satisfaction at the end of the day we do take our customers seriously you know we like to look after our customers have them back for after sales service and we have a very very good reputation of bikes and obviously a couple of the other things that we do, obviously the ride videos is one of them. Every bike that goes out, we give it a coat of ACF50. We keep blaming on about ACF50 as well, but if you do want to look after your bike, go across and uh, have a look or Google what ACF50 is. Very, very good anti-corrosion. And obviously ACF50 do a lot of different products. And uh, some of their products obviously they do the the standard spray tint of ACF 50 they do a heavier duty one so if you wanted a little bit more protection they do another couple of other products and their stuff is very very good I can swear by using ACF 50 all the time because obviously I use it on my sports bike but uh, this little LXR as with the previous three or four that I've all ridden, straight out the box, we fill them up, we bulk check them, we PDI them, we give them a QC, and obviously down to me to uh, test ride them. And uh, so far, I'd say we've done about sort of 15, 20 of these in about the last nine months. And uh, I think we've only had one that had an issue and that obviously that bike went out customer come back my fairings cracked at the front well, it shouldn't have cracked why have you got a, a cracked fairing I don't know I was adjusting my mirrors <coughs> simple reason there it is if you are going to adjust the mirrors on these they have an allen bolt on the front don't just grab it by the stalk and try and lift the mirror up and down you will crack that fairing panel so it's like anything, unbolt it, move it to the position you want, get that allen bolt and just tighten it back up again if you want to move those mirrors. Don't just grab the stalk and try and twist it and bring your mirror up and down because you are going to end up cracking that fairing panel. So that was sorted out by us. But uh, happy customer at the end of the day. He didn't realise. So if it is any advice that you need, you know, how do I check my coolant? How do I check my water? 
how do I top it up or where are all the clips give us a call what oil do you use in the bike it depends we tend to either use uh, Motol which is one of our big ones or Liquid Molly but uh, it all depends on the bike what the, uh, the bits are on it but uh, we tend to go a little bit over and above just for the sake of customers that is called customer quality and satisfaction and I do love the way this little LXR seat just tucks you into the tank I'm just pulling around the clutch again just checking the clutch operation how does it pull through that gearbox and it pulls absolutely lovely now obviously with some bikes I tend to you can just clutch down and let the clutch out what I tend to do is rev much as I come down and both ways round that gearbox just handles so superb it's a really nice gearbox on these LXRs obviously 6.6 .6 miles in I'm going to uh, bring this video to a close and I'm going to cut back in when I've got the full mileage on the bike so catch up with you guys in a few so coming back off the urban routes back in on the video uh, currently 17.9 miles in and just getting the final couple of miles up onto the bike for Wayne but no issues found and I didn't expect them to be any these LXRs are absolutely built to last well, as I said, a lot of bikes going out over the next couple of weeks and we are still selling bikes obviously Leximoto are running out of stock very very quickly just awaiting the next dispatch order to come in but if you are in the uh, market for Alex Moto, and there are lots of different uh, models to choose from whether it's a twist and go scooter through to a geared bike or a bigger CC bike Alex Moto have probably got a bike for you we are taking pre-orders obviously on bikes that uh, are awaiting to come in I think the next batch of LXRs is August uh, and we've already got customers asking if they can place deposits to hold the bike for when it comes in so that's what we would suggest you do if you can uh, hang on for about another month and a bit and you're not in desperate need for it but you really want one get your local dealer ask if you can have a pre-order put a deposit down put your, we take 10% on a bike holding deposit obviously that's non-refundable because we will uh, order that bike in special for you but if you want one stick a deposit down obviously when the bike comes in pay your final balance and job done also got the finance options as well so if you wanted to get finance on one of these most dealers have got finance we do but these little Lexmodo bikes absolutely gorgeous and I said there are lots and lots of models to choose from obviously I've got my own personal favorites I do like the LXRs love the little riots love one of my favorites the tempest or the tempest gt i did love the valiant but obviously the tempest took over from the valiant riviera was one of my favorite ones as well and obviously that one is discontinued now but i did love the rivieras but the titan probably one of the best twist and go scooters you can get and it's one of the biggest sellers for lex moto as well we've already sold out the 10 that we had in have already gone now we're going to be doing ride tests on those but uh, guys at Eclipse Motorcycles there to help you so if you are after a bike you live near Milton Keynes obviously we can deliver at distance as well so give us a call we can get you a, a price for carrier and we deliver all over the country so they're available give the team a call you'll probably end up speaking to me anyway so uh, 01908 643 603 that's the number to call don't forget their website eclipsemotorcyclesmk.co.uk facebook page eclipse motorcycles all the links to eclipse the eclipse is on the front page of my website down the very bottom there's a facebook link and there's a link to the website as well 
and that is on revbomb.co.uk my social media link on the social media pages and don't forget obviously if you enjoyed it hit the like hit the subscribe hit that notification bell for stuff that I do when I'm out on my big bike or any new bikes that we are going to be doing and just feeding this one round and round about for the final time just burning in the edge of that rubber for the customer and obviously you can tell it does lean very very well on that fresh rubber so tyres are nicely scrubbed in for the customer currently at 19.7 so by the time I get to the garage we've got the full 20 so we don't use ride circuit 1, ride circuit 2 obviously ride circuit 1 is all dual carriageway, ride circuit 2 is a couple of dual carriageways and urban but we always manage to put around about 20 miles on, sometimes a mile or so before or sometimes a little mile or so after but always around about the average of about 20 miles on the bike at 40 mile an hour so just making our way back to the garage guys this has been uh, Lexmar Lexar 125, this one's going out to Wayne. Obviously we name the customers, we don't give away anything else, while well, we tend to hide the ridge plates as well on certain bikes. Customers anonymity. But until the next time, have a great weekend. Be well, ride safe. Until next time, it's a goodbye from me.